Hey there, my clashing friends. It is your host, Galadon. Thank you for checking out Clash of Clans Attacks. We've got an exciting episode for you today, but also we have the announcement of the official partnership between Clash of Clans Attacks and the world's largest Clash of Clans website, ClashofClansBuilder.com. They are the official website for this channel, and this is the official YouTube channel for ClashofClansBuilder.com. Now today's episode is going to focus specifically on Town Hall 9 and more specifically 3 star war attacks and we're going to get right into some replays here. We're looking at LP3 Chiron's most recent war and this is General PJ and the uh, Pajama Commander has brought a Town Hall 9 version of Quattro Lava Lunion with uh, 3 Lava Hounds instead of 4, the third in the clan castle there and you can see that the first two have gone down pretty much right away but the Rage Spells there bringing the balloons in the uh, Lava Pups nerfed in the last update not lasting quite as long you can see he's got a great Mickey Mouse shape there to the 3 Rage Spells and that is working out very well on this base despite the fact that we've got uh, Airbound Skeleton Traps there on the left the Lava Pups make quick work of those and they move on through the rest of the village there. All of the major defenses are gone at this point. You'll notice that all of the splash defense is history and the king helplessly wandering around wondering what he can do. The top of your screen, minions and lava pups going to work on those last structures. In the center, the town hall is starting to go down. At the bottom of your screen, the last of the balloons are going down. But as the last balloon is history, there are only three defensive structures left in this entire village. Almost two minutes remain and it's just up to these airbound units to take out the last of the structures. We fast forward through the rest of this attack and we get down to the point where there's only one structure left and General PJ takes a page out of Galadon's book <laughs> and for dramatic effect sits and waits until the very last second, drops his queen, takes out that last archer tower and completes the three star victory. So next we will move on to another attack replay this from Seiya, also LP3 Chiron, and this is a Go Wee Wee style attack. We've just got golems, wizards, and witches, a couple of hog riders there to uh, try to lure out that clan castle, and I believe he brought uh, witches in his clan castle as well. But there's trouble, that is a dragon coming out of the clan castle there, so we'll see how he deals with that. Looks like he's going to uh, pull all of those troops out to the very far right here before he tries to take them out. Uh, very patiently waiting, calculating how he's going to do this here. Drops a Barbarian way out at the very edge there. We've got the archers bunching up, and now here comes his own clan castle, which is in his clan castle, and they're going to start to generate those skeletons, but they will go down pretty quickly to the uh, dragon's fire there, and they do, but he is going to work on surrounding the dragon a bit with some wizards, some archers as well, and eventually the dragon is going to go down. There he goes. Everybody's focused on him, and now he starts the rest of his attack. And it is going to be from the bottom right there. Here come the level 4 golems. Wizards in behind, taking out those surrounding structures. Wall breakers to break open the wall. Very calculated here, dropping pairs of wall breakers, knowing that that is going to be enough to get through those walls. And now here is something interesting. He drops his jump spell there. And watch the last group of wall breakers. You would think, well, the jump spell is not needed. Those wall breakers are going to take out that last wall. But look where they go instead. They turn right and they take out a section of open wall. It was almost as if, say, a knew those wall breakers were going to fail him right there. They did indeed fail him, but the jump spell saves him. Here come the heroes, all of the witches moving in towards that town hall enclosure there. The jump spell perfectly placed. Everybody jumps right over it, leaping into the town hall area there. The Teslas are going to go down. The king goes straight to work on the town hall. The queen as well. Witches all over the place, just overwhelming all of those defensive structures. There is the second star already. 59, 60% damage. Units still moving around from the top and the bottom you can just see groups of skeletons all over the place there's like four major groups of witches and skeletons there goes a, a lightning spell just for good measure to try to help take out some of those other defensive structures as Asaya obviously knows he's shooting for the three star here they're closing in on the last of the structures left in this village the queen's still at full health there's a golem as well but it is really going to be the witches in this attack that are going to do the bulk of the work around the outside here those skeletons just overwhelming these structures Structures, a massive amount of skeletons as we get down to the last structures. There they are, and a three star win for Seiya and LP3 Chiron. But not to be outdone, we've got Hassan also from LP3 Chiron with an interesting and exciting attack of his own. Uh, as you can see here, he's brought Quattro Lava Lunion despite being a Town Hall 9. He's got the fourth Lava Hound in the Clan Castle. The way this base is set up, there's that fourth air defense kind of sticking out like a sore thumb, so he's using his heroes to eradicate it first. 
get it out of the way and now here come the balloons and the lava hounds in behind and the queen just manages to take down the air defense as it starts to hit those balloons and now the lava hounds are going to take the lead all four of them converging on that same air defense perfectly placed rage spells right here look at how the very edge of those just barely touches the balloons moving into the center lava hounds starting to go down the pups going to work the expos going down quickly the air defenses as well there is a lightning spell on the clan castle troops that just happen to be sitting on the town hall so that town hall is almost down at this point and now as you watch the screen there is nothing left but lava pups minions and the lava hounds and the air defenses are down but the lava hounds are still up now the top right of your screen has Hassan dropped some balloons to take out those Teslas because he had very wisely watched a player attack this space earlier in the war. He knew those Teslas were there. He specifically saved the balloons to take them out. That almost worked. There's a little bit of health left on that last Tesla but it's not going to matter. We've got plenty of lava pups and minions moving in here. A couple of pretty heroic lava hounds. Normally you see them go down to those air defenses, uh, but these lava hounds survived because the balloons took out those air defenses early. And there you can see them bouncing on one cannon, working together, and eventually with some help from their friends there, they're gonna take that cannon out and move on. And despite the fact that we have no heroes to help clean up or any really high damaging units here, the Lava Hounds are going to distract those defenses. One of them goes down there. You can see the last Lava Hound distracts that wizard tower so none of the minions and Lava Pups get hit. And there it is, another three-star victory for LP3 Chiron. So proving that there's multiple ways to achieve success at Town Hall 9 war attacks, LP3 Chiron with some very skilled and interesting attacks. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please do let me know what else you would like to see in future episodes. Like, comment, and subscribe for daily Clash of Clans uploads, and I will see you guys tomorrow with more full attacks. Galidon, give the people what they want. Peter, $17.